Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Shakira and y'all already know I'm back with another mother freaking video. Today we are in my loft. I love my loft. This is the first time you guys have ever seen my loft or been in my loft. So, super excited. It's really cozy, really comfy, you know. It's like, it really gives. I love my loft. Nobody really gets to see this area of the home because everybody got to stay downstairs and so nobody get to come upstairs. But, Yes, as you can see by the title, we are doing a luxury unboxing video. So I have a few items that I've purchased over the last couple of weeks that I wanted to show you guys. All of the items I'm super excited about, a few of the items were gifts. The other items were items that I purchased on my own because I just wanted them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give me the thumbs up and follow me on every social media platform at Sadidi underscore beauty. And that's S-A-D-I-T-Y underscore B-E-A-U-T-I. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first item that I have is a perfume. This is a fragrance called... Rolling in Love by Killian. So the box is really cute. It's black. Um, it's a heart box and Rolling in Love by Killian is in gold. The details is really cute in gold. When you open the box, there's a card that says Killian Paris. Um, and it pretty much just gives you insight on when the fragrance was created, who it's by, where it was created and also inside it is the fragrance so Killian is a fragrance that I really wanted to try this was one of the gifts that I got one of my Christmas gifts but I was told that Rihanna wears um, Killian I think the one that she wears is like don't be shy I want to say and that smells really good too but the rolling in love it's a beautiful beautiful fragrance I'm gonna take it out for you guys so you can see the bottle it's red. So freaking cute with the gold detailing um, on the front of it. Rolling in Love by Killian. And oh my gosh, it smells so amazing. This is a fragrance that I'm going to wear like on dates for sure. Um, because like date nights. Because it's just, first of all, it's a little pricey. I think this was maybe three something retail price i don't have my phone is there right now so i can't tell y'all but i'll um i'll drop a link to this in the description box but it's a beautiful fragrance it has hints of cherry um and almond that's what i remember reading about it i don't have the notes in front of me uh, but i'll definitely list it in the description box but it is so sweet Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. It smells so good. But yeah, it's a really, really nice fragrance if you guys are into fragrances. I definitely recommend 10 out of 10. This is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And also, this is the 1.7 ounce. So the next item that I have is some sunglasses. I purchased these on the Nordstrom website. There are some Balenciaga sunglasses. Um, they caught my eye because I also bought some Balenciaga shoes, which I will show you next. I wanted to wear this. I went to the Little Baby concert last week. Yeah, last weekend. Went to that concert, and I wanted to get cute because it was in Atlanta. So, y'all know you got to come come real cute, real fly in the A. So, I was like, okay, I'm going to get me some cute stuff, some designer stuff, just to wear. Um... Yeah, so I purchased the Balenciaga sunglasses and the Balenciaga shoes, but only the sunglasses came in time. The shoes didn't come in time, so I couldn't wear it. I was pissed, but, you know, I still was cute. I was decent at the concert. But the sunglasses, they are, I was just pressed to get some Balenciaga, like some Balenciaga sunglasses that were different. And I thought that these were really, really different. So this is the tortoise sunglasses with the green black and white detailing with balenciaga shown right here on the side of the glasses it gives i, don't, I really don't even know what the fuck it gives 
Um, maybe bad bitch because I'm a bad bitch in everything. So, yeah, definitely gets bad bitch. I like these a lot. I haven't even looked at myself. Let me see. Oh, yeah, these are these are actually fly. I hope y'all can't see my frontal, but if y'all can, it's okay. I need my hair done. But, mm, yes, these are fly as fuck. These are really good on me. They look so good. So, yeah, these are very fly. I was like, maybe I should send these back and get the, um, the red and black ones because the other ones, they're all black on the front. And then the, the detailing where the Balenciaga is, is like black and then red instead of the green. And those were really dope and I felt like they would complement the shoes a little bit more. But honestly, I just might stick to these because these are super fly. Like, what do y'all think about them? Let me know in the comment section if y'all think these are hot or not. I think they're hot. I think I look good at anything. So, But that's just me. I'm biased. That's just me. But they look good. In my opinion. So yeah. These are cute. These are so cute. I really like them. Like a lot. A whole lot. A whole lot. A whole lot. Of. Oh, and of course the sunglasses comes with the I haven't opened this this is oh it's just a little um they normally come with a cloth but this is a little bag to kind of stuff them in whenever you're putting them away I love when sunglasses come with the extra little bag because it helps the sunglasses not to get like scratches in just shit all over them when you're um, putting them away. So, yeah, the little bag says Balenciaga on it. It's really cute. Let me see. Show y'all. Super cute. I love it. I love it. I didn't think I was going to like this purchase because I was like, eh, those sunglasses are okay, but they look so fucking good on me. They look so good on me. Okay, guys, so my next purchase were some Balenciaga sock booties. Here is the box. I'm pretty sure y'all seen a Balenciaga box before. You know, comes in the regular gray box. Nice and sturdy, a very sturdy box. Now, with me purchasing these shoes and the amount of money that I spent on them, I felt like... Because I, I did get them from Nordstrom's. I didn't get them directly from the uh, Balenciaga website. But when speaking to Nordstrom's, they were saying that the shoes were coming directly from Balenciaga. So when I got the shoes, the way they were just thrown in the box, I was kind of pissed. Because I'm spending this much money on some shoes for it to look like trash. So, I mean, I did fix it up a little bit. better than Way better than what it was. So, yeah, I didn't like that. That was that was one thing. When I'm buying something, when I'm spending, you know, 500, 600, 700, 800, $1,000 on some shoes or anything of that matter, it needs to look like I spent that much money on it and it shouldn't be no bullshit, you feel me? So, that's what I got to say about that. But other than that, I really do like the shoes. It came with two extra heels, little uh caps for the heels for when they get you know damaged um of course it came with the balenciaga uh details talking about the product the manufacturing of the product and how it needs special treatment but y'all just threw my shoes in there and just sent them on their way cool noted <laughs> And then it comes with two dust bags for you to put the shoes in. I mean, you could tell by just how fucking wrinkled the dust bags are that they didn't come the way that they were supposed to come. The other dust bag. And last but not least, the shoes. 
Now I've had I've had my eye on these shoes for a little minute. Like even look at this. Like they just threw shit in there. Like I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But it's cool. Cause I like my shoe. So this is the booty. It gives the little slant of the heel. It's a sock booty. I did go a half size up. So I got a 36 and a half. Normally when you're buying designer shoes, I go a full size up just because it's best to go a full size up. I went a half a size up because it was recommended on the site. So I did 36 and a half. I'm normally, for my size, I'm a six. So a 36 in European sizes is a six. So I did 36.5, 36 and a half. And they fit really, really good. They feel good. I've made several um, luxurious purchases, if you will. And when I tell you, designer shoes, they're not my best friend at all. Let's just say that. But these, baby, let me tell you. So I probably will not wear socks with these at all. Yeah, the 36 and a half fits perfectly. This is the shoe. It looks so freaking good on my foot. Um, let me see if I can give you guys another view. Probably not. We just gonna keep it at that. They look so fucking good. It really gives just this bitch got some money for real. When I really don't. And let me tell y'all about how I really got off. So the shoe, when I was on the website, I was just looking for some shoes to wear. Some good shoes, some nice shoes. I was looking at Christian Louboutin to see if they had anything with a thick heel that might be comfortable. Um, I was looking for Balenciaga because I have a few pair of Balenciagas and they actually fit comfortably. Um, and I seen this shoe. This shoe was marked to $600. And $70, $90, something like that. So I was like, ooh, I'm about to cop them. Like, even if I don't wear them, at, that's a good deal. That's a good deal for some Balenciaga shoes. $600 for some heels? Yeah, let me get that. So I brought them. As soon as I bought them, the price went back up to $1,150. So I'm like, oh my gosh, they probably mispriced the shoe because they had a lot of stuff marked down on the, the website even on the balenciaga website they had a lot of stuff marked down so i thought that they was you know just having some type of sale or something they must have accidentally marked these down so i really got off because they right back up to regular price so i'm like yes yes your girl got off got off like really got these shoes basically half price you know Super deal, super deal. And your girl love a good deal. But yeah, these are them. And I love them. They're so cute. I'm really going to be able to wear these somewhere for real. Like, and not even be in pain. So, if you guys are looking for a comfortable designer shoe, Balenciaga got what you need. And I, like, this ain't even on no... I'm getting paid from the company. They're sending me anything. They're sending me money. No, these are all purchases that were made. Money came out of my pocket, out of my bank account. So, yeah. But, yeah. Balenciaga, they probably by far have the most comfortable shoes. Because I know if I would have bought some Christian Louboutins, baby. The last purchase is my favorite, my absolute favorite. This was also a gift. Tell Far and Ugg collaboration. Love this bag. Got it in a size medium. Retailed at 
$2.90. Retailed at $2.90. Wasn't no deals on this one. Just $2.90. Not bad for a luxury bag. If y'all don't know who Telfar is, it is a black owned luxury purse. They now have clothes, but they're known for their purses. Their purse is still out like that. Um, but just a black owned brand luxury brand um so glad that i was able to get my hands on this bag because i have been wanting one for forever and i finally got one and i love it it's so pretty so let's talk about it let's talk about it the plastic bag and then the paper bag And the bag bag the big bag that's bag I love 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 this bag it's so pretty oh my goodness I never thought I'd be in love with a bag like it's so beautiful it definitely gives ug right so the material that uggs are made of that is exactly what the bag is made of. I love the bag. It has the handle where you can hold the bag by hand like this. Then it also has two straps where you can wear it as a crossbody. Or on your shoulder, of course. So versatile. I love that they incorporated both. With the bag, super, super dope. So you can kind of just wear it however you please. So, of course, let's talk about the front. The T in Telfar is here on the front, you know. It's the Telfar. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. On the back of the bag, it has UGG at the top and then Telfar with the Telfar symbol. So to keep its shape, of course, they stuffed it. Paper. And then a dust bag. Okay, a nice size dust bag. Really, really nice. I love I love me a good dust bag, y'all, for real. It's not that I'm even going to keep the bag inside of the dust bag because I display them in my closet all of my designer items bags shoes anything they're like on display in my closet so yeah that's how we live in i don't really use dust bags but i like to get them because you never know what you might use them for so let me see if i can show y'all the inside Oops, if you'll ever even be able to see. It's not much there. It's a... Let's see. That's the inside of the bag. There is a zipper. For you to, you know, put some stuff in that you don't want to lose. That you want to kind of secure in the bag. We're, gonna, we're securing the bag all 2022. So... The rest of 2021, we got a couple more days in a year. And all of 2022, y'all know what to do. We secure in the bag. Period. Inside that little zipper, I found, okay, the oak card. Okay. Description of the product. Uh, how to care for the bag and what have you all in all it's a beautiful bag i love it i love the size of it like i said i got the medium one i feel like every tail far that i get from here on out is gonna have to be the medium size because i have so many small bags well actually i have a lot of black small black bags I need like other colors, so if I can get a red so far, that would be great. I was this close to getting the yellow one, and I did not get it. I was so mad. But you know, there's more. There will be more opportunities. I'm pretty sure he's gonna drop more. But 
Yes, these are all of my purchases that I've made within the last couple of weeks or so. The gifts that I've received within the last couple of weeks or so. This was my luxury unboxing. I hope you guys loved it. Make sure you share with me your thoughts and what you guys want to see more of. This is one of many. I plan on doing these much more often as I buy different things. I want to show you guys how they look and what they feel like and if they're worth the purchase or not. I feel like all four of these items were completely worth it. I'm going to wear the fuck out of everything because that's just what I do. I get my money's worth, okay? Everything that I buy, especially luxury items, I get my motherfucking money's worth. Like... The motherfucking tea gonna fall off tail far because that's how much I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> that's how much you're gonna see it. So it's it's pointless to buy these items and not wear them. So what's the point in buying it and just sitting on the shelf? Like wear that shit. Um, but if you guys like the video, make sure you give me the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on every social media platform at Sadity underscore beauty. Most importantly, Instagram. And that's S-A-D-I-T-Y underscore B-E-A-U-T-I. And until next time, love you guys. Mm.